Hi everyone, this is our promotional video of iSplit, a library for accelerating GNNs using auto-tuned sparse operations. My name is Anik, I'm a PhD student at IU, and this is a joint work from our research group. Our library is based on graph neural networks. GNNs tends to be incredibly slow due to their sparse computational kernels. It is difficult to write optimized code for these kernels because the performance depends a lot on, on a lot of factors such as uh, the sparsity of input graph, the GNN models being used, and most importantly, the computational platform or the CPU. Efficient code written for one platform such as Intel may not work for other CPUs such as AMD or ARM. One way to write efficient code for different CPUs is to use a code generator. A code generator can dynamically generate efficient kernels based on existing platform. That way, we also get an option to try out all the different generated kernels and pick the best one for a specific data set by performing auto tuning. But there is one problem. The auto tuner usually generates high performance code in low level languages such as C or C++, which is not common among researchers who work with graph neural networks, at least not as common as Python or R. In order to address all of this, we developed a C++ sparse matrix multiplication library with an auto tuner wrapped in PyTorch. Our sparse kernel directly receives the torch tensor and performs efficient sparse matrix multiplication. These low-level kernels are generated during installation of the library based on the user platform to take best advantage of the existing CPU. The users can access the functionality through a very easy to use interface and can run the auto tuner separately. Given a dataset, the auto tuner would suggest the best possible embedding size for which the users can expect the maximum speed up on existing CPU. Furthermore, the MATMAL operation can cache the common matrices between the epochs or backpropagation and exhibit very high speed up compared to existing PyTorch and PyTorch geometric implementation of GNN. And the best thing is that if the users have existing PyTorch geometric implementation of GNN, they can start using the library out of the box with just two lines of code. <laughs> 